Abortion rights advocates in Georgia had until the stroke of midnight to meet a deadline, hoping to convince federal judges here in Atlanta to throw out Georgia's impending abortion restrictions. It is a scramble of competing passions for and against abortion rights and for and against Georgia's so-called heartbeat law. John Shearick has more on the challenge that is now in the hands of the 11th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in Atlanta and the judges wanting to see one final round of arguments. Abortion rights activists in Georgia convinced they can still stop Georgia's heartbeat abortion law and overturn it despite last month's U.S. Supreme Court ruling which says in effect that Georgia has every right to enact the law. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis for one wrote a letter to the U.S. Court of Appeals arguing that Georgia's abortion restrictions amount to an unconstitutional invasion into the right to privacy guaranteed by the United States Constitution. Willis is asking the Court of Appeals to send the case back to the lower court for more argument about last month's Supreme Court decision and Georgia's law. Willis has already said she would not seek to prosecute anyone who provides or receives an abortion in most cases. Andrea Young of ACLU Georgia thinks the federal judges can be convinced that Georgia's heartbeat law should be thrown out because it is vague, she says, on how it defines the personhood of the fetus, and as a result, she says, it is unenforceable and unconstitutional. It redefines person in the Georgia Constitution to include an unborn child. And no more real definition than that. Georgia Attorney General Chris Carr has already asked the Court of Appeals to allow Georgia's heartbeat law to take effect immediately. Carr arguing that there should be no more arguing now that the Supreme Court has ruled. Expert court watchers are forecasting what might happen next. Some expect a quick ruling by the Court of Appeals as soon, perhaps by next week. Some say it's possible the judges may decline to rule and instead send the case back to the lower court for another look.